Hello, and welcome to Shark Cut Up CNC. Today we're going to talk about 2D vectors. Have you ever wanted to be able to save the 2D vectors into, onto your computer so you can choose them from the clip art files, just like you're able to do here, like take choosing that bottle? Or, for instance, choosing any one of those vectors within that box here or the menu. Well, I wouldn't want to save them here because this gets overwritten every time there's an update. These are the Vectric 2D vectors. I would create a folder on your own computer in the local files. And as you see here, I have my clip art, 2D game layout, 2D vectors. And these are some of my 2D vectors. And I have one here. It's a Shelly Jack that I created from a model. All I did was bring the model in flat laying out and then had the, well, let's go through that real quick. We'll import the Shelly Jack model by going to download speaker files, woodworking ideas, 3D models, and the Shelly Jack is right there. We open it and it's laying flat like I want it. So I'll say center it to the material, please, and position it. Now, I'll leave it halfway like that, and it'll create a vector. It really doesn't matter whether you have it halfway. or This is basically for two-sided, but we'll go ahead and import it as it is, and it will still create a vector. By using this tool right here, we can create a vector that goes all the way around the outside of that Shelly Jack. So if I take and delete, uh, let's see, we'll go here. We'll delete the Shelly Jack model because we no longer need it. And you want all the data related to that. There's our 2D vector. I'm going to go ahead and resize it to the size of the material. Got to have the high vector highlighted. And we want to go 12 inches. And we want to leave this checked so it adjusts this with it. There we go. There's our Shelly Jack vector. Now, I've already got a Shelly Jack. And it'll just rewrite over, over this one when I go to save it. So you just save the CRV file save as and you go to your directory Vulcan my clip art 2d vectors 2d vectors there's two uh, directories for that and there's the jack we'll go ahead and save the jack and it'll say ask it's already yeah we'll go ahead and replace it now it's it will be here when you go to find your 2D vectors. We're going to take another example, import, let's see, what other, I've got a 3D star. Uh, yeah, I can go, it's, uh, it's thinking, I think, yep, there we go. All right, three-dimensional star, and that center it to the model, position it, and we'll bring it up a little bit more. In fact, we'll bring it all, all the way up to the surface of the plane, and we'll import it. Now we'll go to the 2D view. And we'll create a vector around that. Now we no longer need the star. Uh, of 
course, I can delete it right here. You know, delete everything that has to do with the model. Now we have our vector. I want to increase the vector to the size of the material. Of course, you got to have it highlighted. And let's see, this is the longest route, so we'll go with that one. And we want to leave this checked so it applies to that one too. Now we have our star vector. If you wanted to save it to your computer, you'd add it in with your 2D vectors. And just for SPAR, and we'll save it. Now we'll go to the clipboard, and you notice there's our star. So there you have it, folks, how to create a 2D vector that you can save to your computer in the local files. Your computer. Do not save them in these directories that come from Vectric because they get overwritten when you get an update. Put them in the local files. That way they'll always be there. You'll never have to worry about them. So there you have it, folks. Enjoy, and thank you for watching Shark Cut Up CNC.